Well, hey guys, happy Friday. Today I just kind of wanted to share like some updates with you guys. I got a Vitacost delivery today, so I'm gonna share with you guys a Vitacost haul since you guys really seem to like the last uh, Vitacost iHerb haul that I showed and uh, some kind of updates from some of the stuff that I shared in that video. And then, you know, it's Friday night. You guys know, as far as my skincare routine, over the weekend, I take a break from different. And since I'm trying out a bunch of the Asian, Japanese, Korean skincare products, um, I thought tonight it might be fun if we uh, tried out some new stuff together and I share with you guys some of the things that I have been doing, um, mostly to elicit your feedback on it. Uh, Cause so far I'm really loving the Hadalabo uh, Super Plumping gel cream and the face wash and the oil cleanser. I have stopped using the uh, Cause RX uh, Galactomyces Whitening Serum. I used that for a good week and all I noticed was some dryness and irritation around my eyes with it. So I've stopped using that and I haven't pursued the BHA solution yet. Um, or the It's actually a combined BHA AHA solution and uh, I haven't tried any of the masks. So tonight I thought it would be fun to, I don't know, maybe try that um, Momotani uh, whitening mask from the cool little dispenser packy doodle and perhaps the uh, Maison snail uh, secretions. I've also been enjoying the Hadalabo uh, Milky Lotion. You all are chiming in that I need to study some uh, videos on like doing this lotion, potion, facial thing. I have not uh, admittedly uh, spent the time to do that as of yet. I've just kind of been dabbing it on and I haven't used the puffs yet. So anyways, there is that. Chiming right along with the moisturizers. But some of you guys are asking about my necklace and um, this was a gift to me many, many years ago, but it comes from Tiffany and you can still get it there. I think it's the um, Elsa Peretti Diamonds by the Yard. Um, I really love it. And then my earrings, you know, I'm kind of like passed down from my mom and um, I have no idea where they came from or if they, that person that ever made them ever even existed or exists anymore. But anyways, one lifestyle update I want to share with you guys is this Kroger candle find from the, um, from the clearance bin. This is the Tuscan candle. Tuscany Candle Company, the lemon sugar cookie. I mean, shout out, this smells like you just opened a box of lemon cookies, you know, like the good kind. It smells exactly like that. It is so far my favorite summer scent for as far as a candle. I wish it were a soy candle, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It was in the clearance bin and shout out to Kroger. This time they did not shame sticker me to death. They Put the shame sticker nicely on the bottom right over the pre-existing uh, sticker lesion. So I love it. And they're not masking the name of the candle. And uh, the woohoo great deal is just like, like a little gold star. Like, yeah, you, you got a bargain. This was originally 10 bucks and I got it for six. And that was six bucks well spent because I am really, really enjoying the smell of this. Um, I won't fire them up just yet because after I show you guys, yeah, I won't fire them up just yet because after I share with you guys my Vitacost haul and some pantry updates, if you will, I am going to go to the gym and I don't want to fire them up and then blow them out. Um, I just feel like that's, that's setting them up for failure. So anyways. Oh yeah, and check out, I'm rocking my uh, postcards from uh, the Magic Kingdom known as uh, Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> and my pretty magnet. Yeah. Woohoo, shout out to Rainbow Row. Loving that. Okay, so update on the, um, update on the rosehip tea. You all may have already chimed in asking your questions at this point. We're not in the same time zone. I'm in the past and you're in the future. But um, these are the leftover hips, if you will, that I um, had previously microbrewed. <laughs> and this is how I've been doing it. I just put it in a mason jar and pour the boiling water over, let it come to, uh, let it cool on the countertop overnight. And in the morning, I just pop it in the refrigerator um, and let it sit there until I get my act together. And then I strain the hips out using that uh, little colander device, which is actually in my dishwasher, so I won't show you that. I've really been loving it. I mean, I could drink it straight, but that's probably 
I don't know, maybe too much antioxidants. Um, so I just pour maybe a quarter of a cup into my water and it is fantastic. Really loving it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this the antiox. Okay, and so um, Vitacost update from last time. I'm all, I also cracked into I also cracked into the sweet leaf uh, butter um, English toffee um, drops that I got. And you all were asking for an update on the flavor and if I liked it. I really am enjoying this. I like putting it in um, warm almond milk or cashew milk at night. That is really nice that way. I also like uh, putting it in my cauliflower oats for um, kind of a buttery toffee flavor instead of uh, you know chocolatey flavors or whatever. So I'm really liking it that way and I like this flavor. I haven't put it in water because I can't imagine toffee water would be very good. I haven't cracked into the berry flavor yet, but um, I'm gonna try and get some limes. I don't have any fresh limes currently, so I'm gonna try and do that. Or some, I, I don't also. I also don't have any fresh berries. That was the idea was to get some uh, berries and maybe make like a ice water berry slushy kind of thing with those drops. So I'll let you know how that goes. I haven't braised the dragon herbs tea. I may give this a whirl tonight though. I had my beauty dust this morning as per usual. Still loving that, can't see myself quitting it. Um, but I'm gonna try, I think I might try this guy tonight. So um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. And then so from Vitacost this time, I got, um, I'll just talk you through everything because I got some cool stuff. I mean, some of it's old stuff that I normally get. Um, I haven't been on my natural calm in a while and I really find that I, I love the taste of this in my water in the morning and um, you know I'm kind of missing it so I got a little, a little bit more of it um, just to have on hand because it's a pretty good deal and I really like this cherry flavor um, you know do follow the directions with this and um, it, it's basically a magnesium supplement which I find um, has helped with muscle um, those Charlie horse cramps that I get, I, I used to get them in the middle of the night in my calves um, after long runs and I no longer get them and I attribute it to this or this is another um, type of drink like that. So I never drink both of these, like I try not to drink too much of the magnesium because you can, that just seems like excessive. Um, I either drink that or I've been drinking this and I love this FRC elderberry flavor. Another fun thing that you can do with either the Natural Calm or the FRC, you guys normally see me put this in my water, but another fun thing that I discovered that you guys should try um, is if you mix it with almond milk or cashew milk, it sounds bizarre, but this FRC flavor done that way is so cool. It like literally effervesces up into this like creamy, frothy, cloudy looking thing. It looks like you're drinking one of those fancy unicorn latte thingies that everybody on the IG is like filtering and making all pretty and yeah, totally. This in some cashew milk or almond milk or dairy milk if that's your jive. So, so good that way, really loving that. And then you guys know in my cauliflower oats in the morning, I make them with regular oatmeal and I put a, a serving of cauliflower, a serving of regular oatmeal, and a serving of protein powder. And prior to um, making more plant-based switches, I was predominantly using whey protein or egg whites. Um, but I've switched over to either pea protein or rice protein. And the deals on Vitacost are fantastic as far as their brand. And so I put a serving of pea protein or rice protein. And so I'm about out of that. And I picked up this, uh, this is a, a Vitacost brand that I haven't tried, the Root Squared, it sounds very mathy, um, pea protein powder. This is pea protein isolate um, as opposed to concentrate, which I've had in the past. And I guess apparently the isolate is better I have no clue I mean this is kind of like a processed food but I like having the added protein in the morning um, it's 15 grams per serving and there are 25 servings in this and this um, $8.85 for the 25 servings which for protein powder is a really good deal in my um, opinion <laughs> I mean protein powders can be so cost prohibitive I like the fact that the container is short like this and it's not as hideous as some of those massive uh, protein canisters that they frequently sell. Okay, <clears throat> moving right along, 
Um, you all um, who are new here may not be aware of this, but you all who are new, new is like, oh no, here come the shirataki noodles. Seriously, Vitacost has the best shirataki noodles. I've gotten the ones at H Mart before, the yam noodles, and they're pretty good. They come in a much bigger bag, um, but I just really love the shirataki fettuccine. If you guys are wondering how I do this, I make I think the equivalent of a dashi um, broth, hopefully I'm saying that right, which is a Japanese broth made out of sea vegetables, which I talked about in my last Vitacost haul. And I'll put either tofu in it or um, uh, TVP or beans or some sort of um, protein. I'll put a bunch of vegetables in it. And then I put these in them and I prepare them as instructed on the package. They're um, a, bit, a little bit chewy in texture. They don't have a flavor. Um, they're kind of the consistency I find of the needle, needles, of the noodles in pho, the Vietnam, Vietnamese noodle soup. They're not like pasta. If you're Italian, you're, you're going to be alarmed that they even dare call this fettuccine. Um, it's, it's not the consistency of fettuccine. So I love it though, and I um, like getting it on Vitacost, and it was buy one, get one half off, so I got a couple of them. And then I also um, like to use TBP or textured soy protein. Some people um, are bothered by it. They're, they worry about uh, consuming soy. I don't. I like it. I enjoy it. I digest it fine, and it is a good source of protein, um, I find, uh, being predominantly... PMV, pretty much vegan. <laughs> I'm not a full-fledged vegan. I do, uh, you know, uh, make exceptions. But I would say my home diet is 100% vegan and I'm basically 99% vegan in terms of my eating. I guess you would call me plant-based. I don't know. Um, but I, uh, I basically don't eat meat at home. Let's just put it that way. Meat, dairy, or yeah, I basically don't. I'm basically vegan at home. Um, if I went out into a restaurant, though, I'm not going to, like, fret over if every single thing has, may or may not have butter in it or, like, milk or something. Because none of those things are bothersome to me from a health perspective. And I don't eat a plant-based diet uh, for cruelty-free or environmental reason. I, I eat a plant-based diet predominantly because it's more cost-effective from kind of a global feeding perspective. I don't know. That's sort of my ethical stance on it, so I try and eat that way at home and I just feel like it uh, promotes longevity to eat that way predominantly. It works for me, it gives me a lot of energy, I like it, but anyways. And some of you have asked how long I've eaten that way. I would say actually most of my adult life I have eaten largely a plant-based diet. There have been other periods of, of time in my life where I was unintentionally like vegan just because I like vegan foods and they were more available to me than meats. I'm speaking of the time when I lived in New York as a resident. I ate PMV, pretty much vegan then. And um, then when I moved to Texas, I hadn't had meat in a really long time and the meat here is really, really good. So I you know, tried a bunch of different meats and everything and found that really isn't my thing. And so, and I really didn't feel like I was missing out on much. And so I've just kind of gone back to being PMV, um, pretty much vegan. Um, so anyways, I love the organic textured soy protein by Now Real Foods. And it's a really good deal on Vitacost. It is, um, it comes in at uh, $3.59 for eight servings. Each serving has 14 grams of protein in it. So I really like having that as another protein source throughout the day. So those are kind of some of the ways that I get my protein. But the main, one main other way that I get them is good old beans. And I got some new beans to try. The Vitacots brand beans are really good. So I got, of course, black beans, which I've had my entire life. I grew up eating these. These were like a staple in my house. Like, um, they had to be made correctly. Um, no canned beans. Well, we did eat canned beans, but for the most part, we made our own. Um, and so I like making my own, and it is fun. So, yeah. Um, I've never had the Vitacost black beans, so I got some of those. You all know I'm totally jiving on the lentils, and I'm basically out. I, I'm out of lentils, so I got some more of the red lentils from the VC. Love these. Then I got some new legumes. <laughs> I am so stoked. I want to try these. I've seen them here and there and I've always been curious about 
Uh, these these are the um, peruano beans. Apparently they're a Peruvian bean or they're used also in a lot of Mexican cooking. So I'm pretty excited about these. They are uh, a white bean. One serving of these has nine grams of protein. One serving of red lentils has eight grams of protein. One serving of black beans has nine grams of protein. And then the next protein bean that I got, the next bean that I got is uh, cranberry beans. Has anybody had these? I just had to try these. I've seen these before. Um, and you know, I've never met a bean I didn't like. I love them, so. Stoked to try these. They clock in at eight grams of protein as well for one serving, so. Yep, that is um, everything that I got from the BC. Love and Bubba. I am on water. It is hot, hot, hot. I walked home today, did not fall. Update on the wounds. It has been, uh, let's see, 14 days since my injury, since my fall. And my epidermis has completely healed over at like six to five to six days post fall. This was my deepest wound here. Um, everything's completely healed over. I just have some residual redness um, as the skin is healing. And I don't want that apparent to patients because it's unsettling. Um, so I, I, and I continue to cover it up with the band, with band-aids to, um, to keep it, you know, kind of protected from any inc incidental sun exposure. That's really the main thing is to protect it from sun. But I'm, I totally love these oval bandages because look how nicely, these are just like ideally shaped for the curvature, the natural curvatures of the body. They don't bunch up. Um, these are the best. So loving my oval band-aids there. Um, loving my oval band-aids there. Feel that, everything's all healed and yeah, that is what's going on. But anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away and head on into the gym and I'll check in with you guys when I get done. Yeah, my favorite from the last VC. Totally loving this ginger mint. Woo hoo hoo. All right, tonight's skincare lineup is complex. This is not for minimalists, but it's fun and we're trying new stuff out and uh, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so tonight I um, removed my makeup and, and sunscreen with the Hotolabo um, olive oil based oil cleanser like I've been doing nightly recently and I'm really enjoying this. I don't know how it compares to other oil based cleansers but I've gotta say I am happy as a clam with this methodology. It really requires very minimal uh, abrasion to the face. It's fantastic. Like you guys recommended, I put a little dewball of water in my palm and a little, a few pumps of this and it gives kind of a lather and stuff comes right off. Then I hippity hop into the shower like a bunny rabbit with an oily face and I um, use the good old foaming cleanser by Hotolabo as well to remove that and stuff feels good. All right, now typically what I've been doing is, um, you know, using the Hotolabo Ultra Plumping Gel Cream um, like I do my Neutrogena Hydra Boost and then following it up with an American classic here, the uh, CeraVe uh, PM, or sorry, this is my CeraVe AM facial moisturizer. I don't follow it up with that. I don't know why I brought him in here. All right, correct, correcto. I got too much going on. That's what I do in the morning. I, I use him as you guys see. But at night I've been using my good old friend, uh, Severa, Severa, CeraVe PM, who's got hyaluronic acid, ceramides for skin barrier function and niacinamide to uh, reduce any redness and has an anti-inflammatory effect. Love this guy. He normally goes over Hotolabo. We let that kind of dry and then we normally come in with Differin. Taking a break from Differin because we're entering the weekend and we're going to give the, time, the stratum corneum some time to repair, um, if you will, and kind of regroup. So tonight we're getting frisky and some, trying some uh, aggressive hydration things with the uh, new Asian skincare lineup. So instead of putting this guy on as I have been, I came in with our little friend, the snail, folks. Oh yeah. And I gotta say, this went on quite nicely. I put him all over my wet face. I'm following the instructions. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. But it said this was the first step in the lineup. So I went ahead and put him on first. I'm mixing Korean and Japanese here. So I'm sure I'm like, this is, this is, I get Asian fusion, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know that it's the exact same, the exact correct way, but I think it's, it's, it makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, so I came in with him onto my wet face and I'll just show you. It's, uh, it goes on um, similarly to any other, to Hydra Boost or 
to the uh, Hada Labo Ultra Plumping Gel Cream. A little bit slightly waterier. I don't know if that's even a word. But yeah, it feels nice. It doesn't smell bad. It has no smell. It doesn't. It didn't sting or irritate me. There are a few um, potential offenders as far as uh, kind of uh, botanically oils in here that you know I would uh, put the brake on recommending this to anybody with uh, rosacea or ultra sensitive skin but people seem to love it and hey FYI I saw this is now available in Target this is the Maison uh, all-in-one snail repair cream okay so he went on to uh, my wet freshly cleansed face and then I came in with this guy this is the um, this is the Momotani um, stretch mask delivering the moist essence because my understanding is that the essence goes on now before you come in with the seal. So we got some essence. Who's been to Essence Fest? Comment below. Isn't that in what, New Orleans or something? I've always wanted to go to that. Um, yeah, but I, I guess you could rock these at Essence Fest or something. I don't know. Um, but this says, this has in it uh, castor oil, which you guys really seem to like and put on your eyelashes and do all sorts of jazzy things with. It's got, again, hyaluronic acid. It does have parabens, which are safe, um, but if you're allergic to them, could be problematic. It doesn't appear to have fragrance, um, and it does not, it doesn't have fragrance. It has um, the rice extracts in it. Um, so I think that this uh, not only has the oper has the potential to uh, hydrate, but as I said, for whatever it's worth, I think the essence in this is the rice bran extract, which may have that arisinol, kind of a ferulic acid -y type antioxidant activity. That's all hand-waving, though, but yeah. So we've got that on there, okay? And he's, what I've, I've got to say, I'm really loving these masks. They come out. This is my first one, but it comes out really easily. I love the packaging on this. I mean, it's super easy. And this guy really stays on pretty well. Like, I'm talking to you guys, and he's not slippity sloppitying around and stuff. And I've had him on. It recommends to leave him on in place for 5 to 10 minutes. And I've roughly had him on that long. So I'm going to go ahead and peel him off. And wah, wah, wah. So, and then I think I'm supposed to pat some more. I think I'm supposed to, based on you guys' recs, I'm supposed to pat more essence in so we don't waste any of it. So I'm good with that. We'll just pat him on in there. Um, over the snail. I don't know. It feels good. All this daubing feels quite nice. Okay. Um, I don't think this is anything I could ever keep up long term, but this is, gals, if you want to, I mean, it's Friday night for me, so... And we all know I ain't got a date or anything, so I'm just dating myself right here. It feels good. All right, so I don't know. I feel like I don't even want to chuck this. He's, he seems like he's got potential for something. Okay, so now I'm just going to come in with uh, my Hada Labo gel plumping cream to my face. This is a lot, you guys, but I mean, it's all kind of inert hydration, so I'm okay with it. Um, most of this stuff so far doesn't have any, none of this stuff so far has any fragrance in it, so I think I'm good. I feel comfortable with this stuff. I feel comfortable leaving this stuff on my face. And the Hada Labo I love because it, you really don't need much of it. The, this is the Ultra Plumping Gel Cream. You really don't need much of it. And before that dries, we will come in with the CeraVe PM. And just seal it all in. All right. I guess that wasn't too, too bad. Not going to neglect the uh, lips here. <laughs> Getting real complicated. Coming in with my other uh, American classic here, the CeraVe. Oh, FYI, you guys chimed in on the fact that you guys get, are getting this on, you international folks can get this on high herb. Fantastico. Or at least the CeraVe stuff. All right. Now there are all sorts of hydration lip masks and what have you, so I gotta check that out. Um, oh, feels good. What do you guys think so far? It looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Very relaxing. Did you guys have a good day today? Well, all right, guys, not too bad. That was very relaxing. So, I'll just show you the lineup. And 
I'll just show you the lineup here of some of the stuff. So, remember this guy that I got with my mom at the uh, at the uh, market days in Wimberley? I'm loving using it uh, kind of to uh, house all this stuff. Um, okay, so we've got the cleansing oil here as a first step. We've got this is like a. Have you guys ever been to those sushi? Um, uh, uh, those sushi restaurants where stuff comes around on a conveyor belt or dim sum and it does that and that's kind of what I'm emulating here okay and then we've got the uh, foaming what have you and uh, then we've got the Maison snail secretion on top which is the uh, primary this is the first humectant um, then we've got rice bran extract essence then we've got Hot Labo Super Plumping Gel Cream. And then we've got CeraVe PM. Then we've got CeraVe Healing Ointment. All right, I don't know, how many steps was that? Like 99? Um, Korean grandmas, Japanese grandmas, comment below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Am I screwing this up? I have no clue, but my skin feels fantastic, you guys. I mean, I, I feel I feel like I just came out of utero or something. Like, I feel like I've, I've just been born. Um, that is nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Feeling good. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, the combo, Vitacost, uh, noobs, updates, and my trials and tribulations here tonight with the uh, multi-stepped approach. Um, but yeah, this is a ton of fun. I uh, love trying this stuff out on the weekend. Um, and I'm, I really enjoy these Hadalabo products in particular. We'll see how my skin looks tomorrow as far as uh, if Maison, I know I'm saying that wrong, wrong. If our snail, our friend the snail here, uh, um, amp things up for me, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.